What's going on, everybody? Welcome on into After Tough. I'm your girl, Charlie Arnold. And like always, we have got quite the show in store for you. We're bringing in this week's semifinal winner, Brady Heaston, to get his thoughts heading into that live finale. We're getting the lowdown from our reality guru, TJ Lavin, and two-time tough coach, Chael Sonnen, bringing us his predictions as the season nears its close. But first, a look back on Brady's so far victorious run here on Tough. All right, the man said he felt like it was meant to be, and look what we've got, Mr. Brady Heaston in the finals. Brady, welcome to the show. Now, okay. I want to ask you, heading into tonight's semifinal, you knew Vincent was going to provide your toughest challenge yet. The first 30 seconds you shot for a takedown, and that really was the beginning of the end for Vincent. So be honest, was that your game plan all week with Coach Volk? Yeah, so I actually worked a lane. Um, but well, yeah, you know. Uh, do, and... do you see this face? I'm sorry. Yeah. You've been injured the entire season? The entire season. If you, Actually, if you'd ask any of my training partners, I usually kick a lot. And if you watch in the... So your success, you have a great support system. Now, during the lead-up to your fight, you had mm -hmm. the chance to FaceTime with your mom, also your brother. So how much motivation did that give you heading into that semifinal matchup? Oh, it was huge motivation. Well, I love the mindset. I love the focus. Brady, thank you mm -hmm. so much for taking the time with us this season. And best of luck to you in the final. We can't wait to watch. And Dana White always calls the coach's challenge his favorite part of the season. The fighters kick back. All the pressure is on the UFC superstars to get a win in something other than fighting. But we would be remiss if we didn't take a look back at a few memorable coaches challenge with our very own Chael Sutton. Check this out. Guru and UFC super fan, Mr. TJ Lavin. Okay, TJ, you know we have to start with the snakes. My God. Okay, so last week apparently you said they didn't bother you. I was not here to vouch for that, but that's what I hear. So <laughs> have you ever had a snake like that wrapped around you like Volkanovsky did? I have. I've had a little, uh, uh, a few pretty interesting snakes wrapped around me. Um, they were very... Why I'm trying to fake this right now. I actually had a pet snake when I was younger, but it bit me, so I had to give it away. But it was a baby king snake, so I guess I have a small little bit of affection for snakes as well. Uh, okay, let's there move on. Go. What's up? There you go. Yeah, there you go. Um, okay, Team Volk brought in UFC's Donald Cerrone to help his team train for the day. What can bringing in a legend like Cerrone do for these young fighters as they're really trying to start a career of their own? I mean, they're living the dream. Now, as with every season of The Ultimate Fighter, there was a friendly competition between the head coaches of each team. This is the second week where the winning team got a reward. So as someone who has lived in the reality world, how well does incentivizing competitors actually work? Uh, it's the only way. Really like Ricky. But look, I yes. also really like Brady. He's a great guy. He's come on after tough twice at this point. So who would you like to see win in the finals? And who do you think actually will win? Pretty Ricky. To be a fun fight to watch. But TJ, for now, thank you so much. And we will see you next week. And speaking of fun, throughout the season, the coaches have done their best to really break up the monotony of training and fighting by showing up to the house and playing some games with the guys. And in the sneak peek for episode 12, Volkanovski takes it to another level. Nothing like a little pool party. And as an aside, if you are not already, you need to follow Alexander Volkanovsky on Instagram because the man knows how to cook. He's always putting up recipes and videos of him cooking, so I definitely suggest that. But guys, for now, that's going to do it for this edition of After Tough. We will be back same time, same place next week following the final, oh, can you believe it, the final installment of this season in Ultimate Fighter right here on ESPN+. Plus. Thank you, everybody, for hanging with us. I'm Charlie Arnold. I will see all of you next week. And don't forget, in the meantime, you can catch me on select episodes of First Take and also the First Take, Her Take podcast with new episodes dropping every Wednesday wherever you get your podcasts. Bye, everyone.